Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we've welcomed the CEO of Bonterra Resources to the program. He's going to be giving us an update on this junior gold exploration company based here in Canada, specifically in the province of Quebec. There's a lot going on at Bonterra, and I want to get into that in today's presentation. Before we do, though, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's 100% free to do, and it's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join and let us know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Bonterra, your outlook on the Canadian gold sector in 2024, and how you think this company stacks up to some of their peers. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's interview. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we've got the CEO of Bonterra Resources. Very exciting company, a lot going on here that we're gonna talk about in today's presentation. Mark andre Pelletier is here to join us and give us a little bit more information about this organization. So Mark andre thanks so much for being here. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much and uh, good day everyone. Thanks, thanks to be watching today. It definitely is a good day if you're in the resource sector. We were just talking about that before we started filming. And uh, because it's the inaugural presentation of Bonterra, your first time on the program, Mark andre can you give us a quick background on yourself and what Bonterra Resources is all about? Yeah, sure. So my name is Mark andre Pelletier. Um, I joined Bonterra Resources in 2022 as president and CEO. My background is in mining engineering. Uh, got getting close to 30 years of experience now, uh, mostly in gold mines in Quebec and Ontario. So uh, in uh, my last venture was uh, at the Wisdom Gold Mines, a Canadian gold producer, and I was the chief operating officer there. I was there five years. Uh, Monta is a junior gold exploration company uh, with a very large portfolio of uh, properties in, in Quebec. Uh, what makes Bonterra different than the other company is we uh, we have infrastructures. We have a, a fully permitted mill at the, our Demaryville property. And most recently, we signed a very strategic uh, partnership with a company named Osisco Mining in our urban Barry property. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to get into that Osisco deal in a second here because I know that's huge news. They're obviously a very notable player in the uh, global gold industry, but also here in Canada. Now, I wanted to touch on a point you just mentioned there about your properties, uh, exposure to Quebec, Mark andre What makes Quebec so desirable? Because I've done a lot of these interviews and videos and people really seem to find Quebec one of the best jurisdictions in the world to operate in terms of mining exploration. Why is Quebec so uh, valuable? Uh, first, it, it starts with the right rock. So the, we talked about the ABCB greenstone belts where our properties are located. So we talk about uh, quartz carbonate, gold vein, uh, mostly with visible gold. So there's definitely gold in, in Quebec. Uh, we're located on the north of the Cadillac break, the famous uh, Cadillac break. There's also a lot of incentive in Quebec in terms of exploration. Uh, you can get uh, exploration credit for the investors that are available. Uh, in, in our business, we call it flow-through uh, uh, credits uh, related to exploration work. So there's some return coming back to the, the investors who invest in Quebec. So there's a real incentive financially uh, and, and the the government authorities pose those incentives to uh, to attract the financing. So there's quite a bit of money uh, in terms of exploration work being spent in Quebec. Gotcha. And in terms of infrastructure, uh, access to labor, things like that, I understand that's pretty plentiful there as well, hey? Yeah, of course. It's. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm actually based in, in the B2B region uh, where, uh, you know, and lots of uh, tradesmen, miners, lots of skills, expertise, and technical as well. Uh, many consultants are located in the B2B. Uh, of course, as you know, Quebec means also hydroelectric grid power. Uh, hydro is very cheap. 
our bachelor mill uh, is located along the highway on the hydroelectric uh, grid power so we have access to uh, you know a cheap and also renewable uh, energy resources so i think that is definitively an asset also to be in quebec it most definitely is the other thing i'll say i've been to quebec a few times the food is unmatched you guys have the best uh, best food of i found in canada so that never hurts as well hey now shifting gears uh over to the differentiators here you mentioned osisco um which is one of the obviously the giants in this space can you talk to us about the relationship you guys have with osisco because in my opinion after doing my research this is really the key differentiator for bonterra and i think what a lot of investors are very very excited about mm -hmm. so uh, our total resources is three million ounces and 2.8 million of those ounces are located in the urban Barry camp where we signed a strategic uh, partnership with Osisco Mining in uh, late November last year. Uh, so uh, your, the urban Barry camp is where the Barry deposit and the gladiator deposits are located. Uh, but there's also numbers of, of uh, targets there to explore. The partnership we signed with Osisco is a 70, it's an earning and joint venture partnership, which uh, Cisco is going to spend over 30 million of exploration work over the next three years. So it's $10 million of exploration work a year. Uh, and uh, Cisco will eventually earn 70%. Once that 30 million is spent, Cisco will earn 70% of the urban berry property that I just mentioned. Uh, lots of benefit of that. Uh, I'd like to mention that Osisco discovered the Canada Malartic Mine, which is the, the biggest gold mine in, in production in Canada. And they also discovered the Windfall Gold Deposit, which contains 7 million ounces. Osisco has done over 2 million meters of diamond drain to discover 7 million ounces uh, at Windfall and the, the links zone in particular. So one of the greatest benefits for Pantera is we do have access now to that expertise uh, from the, the, the technical team who've been very successful at Windfall. And in terms of exploration expenditure, um, we have uh, definitively access to, uh, you know, to a lot of uh, investment. And, and that will accelerate the development of our project. So, so really, uh, you know, the experience team is, is a big thing, but the increased capacity uh, for new discoveries is, is definitively uh, a, a huge benefit for Pantera. Sure. Yeah. When I when I read about that, the immediate, uh, in addition to the experience, it really de-risks the investment, in my opinion, because so much of that initial capital is put up by by Osisco rather than uh, Bonterra, right? So very exciting. Now you mentioned uh, they're investing millions and millions of dollars in the in the exploration program over the next few years. Here, what are kind of the next steps or next catalysts along the journey here that investors should be watching for? Uh, I would like to add that. Cisco also made a partnership with the Goldfields, which is, uh, I think it's number five or number six gold producer of the world. And Goldfield is committed to, uh, to as part of the new joint venture with Cisco to explore uh, over $75 million of exploration work. So when you combine the 75 million plus the 30 million, it, it's probably one of the biggest exploration expenditure exploration work in 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 one single camp in canada think about it well, over 100 million dollars of exploration work there's already 10 million ounces discovered in that region what's the potential to find you know another multi-million ounces deposit with 100 million dollars of exploration work so definitively you know this this is going to be a catalyst. Uh, what's coming up uh, as part of the GB, 
uh, there's going to be 35,000 meters of diamond drilling done on as part of the Phoenix GB, which is the urban berry property. Uh, there are six diamond drills in activity now. Uh, four diamond drills are located in a very strategic target uh, called Moss. Moss target is only five kilometers to the southwest of the windfall deposit. And uh, the target is along a regional fall called the Mazir Fall, and also along the Fensic Dyke, which is kind of the right ingredients to get to get a deposit similar to Langs. So uh, Cisco believes there's potential for, you know, same kind of geological character on, on, on our side of the property. And uh, they actually fought them and drilled on Mars. So we're very thrilled with that program ongoing now. Uh, you know, we just can't wait for, for the news to come. But it, it's very promising because, again, in terms of geology, it's it's the same context uh, at Moss than the one we uh, we see at Windfall. So there are two other drills on uh, further to the southwest of our land package, on the, uh, close to our baggy deposit, and further to the southwest at, at Kent. So again, six diamond drills ongoing, joining a lot of diamond drilling. Uh, you know, and, and potentially a lot of good news. So, so that that is the catalyst to come in in terms of short term. In the middle long term, Osisco and Goldfields are going to build a mine, uh, the windfall mine. They're going to put infrastructure in. The hydroelectric grid power is already at windfall as of uh, this year, and uh, once fully permitted. Cisco and Goldfields will build uh, a mill. So when I mentioned the Bagley and Glacier de deposit and any further discoveries, we are all located at about 15 kilometers away to the, to the windfall mill once it's built. So, you know, so access to the expertise, but access to the future infrastructure that will be put in that will make our deposits uh, much more feasible in terms of uh, economics. So, uh, so that's what's happening in uh, uh, now at the at, at the, as part of the Phoenix GB. Sure. Yeah, very exciting stuff on the horizon for you. Now, the last question I had for you, Mark andre is just to zoom out a little bit more on the macro scale here. Um, we've seen some strength in the price of gold, silver over the last few months. We're starting to see a lot more people really look at gold as a way to safeguard their investments. Obviously, inflation and, and money printing and, and things like that are going on quite a lot in North America here. Um, how do you feel about the macro gold environment? Uh, why do you feel people are so excited about this sector once again? It, when you look back, the price of gold is, is probably one of the uh, only asset that, that hasn't, hasn't increased during the inflation. The price of gold remained basically the same. And it's something if you watch the, uh, if you look at the gold producer, you know, with all the pressure with the inflation and the price of gold not moving that much, they actually reduce their margin. So what we see now is kind of, you know, coming back to, uh, let's say, more common sense. However, we all know the cost has increased about 25% over the last couple of years. There's definitely more room for the price of gold to go much higher. So it's, it's really good to see the price of gold now at 20 300 US uh, or so, but in, in order to get back to the, the margin that the, the, the gold producer had to have before, it, it, it has to go, it, it has to go much higher. So, so there's definitively, definitely lots of room for the gold to move, to move up. And uh, again, that's just, just coming back to a common sense. So, so it's uh, it's the right time to invest in gold. Uh, most of the stock in gold are low. Bontero is one of them. Our stock is very low. A real opportunity for the investors to to put money in at this time. You know, with a combination of 
higher price of gold environment and new discoveries, for example, at Moss, I think those two together will, will definitely move our stock up. Sure. Not to mention that the big uh, JV we just mentioned there. So obviously a lot that we've talked about in today's presentation, Marc-Andre. We've talked about the land package. We've talked about the uh, price of gold itself. Obviously the JV with Osisco. Is there anything else we're forgetting from this story? Uh, It's it's a very, you know, one thing I learned is you got to keep the story simple. So in, in the resume, we are in... We are in the right place, Quebec, a bit to be greenstone belt, visible gold. We have the right infrastructures and properties. There's the urban berries and the Maryville with the bachelor mill. We have the right partnership with Osisco Mining as part of the Phoenix GV. And we are in the right environment with gold, with the price of gold going up. So really, I think, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of good things uh, to come uh, for Bonterra, and uh, stay stay tuned on uh, on new exploration discoveries uh, coming up. We most definitely will, and I'll leave the corporate website linked in the video description below, you guys. If you want to go over to the website, take a closer look at anything we talked about in today's presentation, please feel free. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or you're a current investor and we weren't able to discuss your question today, feel free to leave it in the question comment section, and we'll make sure to pass that along to the team as well. Uh, Mark andre I'll throw it back to you for any closing thoughts but excellent interview and thanks for uh, sharing your time today thank you very much and uh, have a great day everyone